plumberparts.co.uk. Honest reviews and advice. Ha! Hello! Ha! Hold tight and welcome to today's plumberparts.co.uk video. Oh my god. Today we're going to be looking at automatic air vents. Now you might have seen one of these in your heating system somewhere or anywhere that needs air venting from it automatically. This is a bottle type air vent so we're going to have a look at this one today. We're also going to tell you how to fit these onto your system and more importantly where you're likely to need to fit them. These can save you a lot of time when it comes to filling up a heating system and obviously can save you having air locks because they automatically vent air out of high up parts of pipe work so let's have a look at where we can fit these in and also how they work it's gonna be a bit of a weird video because my wisdom tooth is playing up and it hurts like merry hell so I've taken loads of painkillers and put stuff on the tooth so I can actually talk to you normally which is obviously a great relief for you but not for my wife anyway let's go and enjoy the video and enjoy learning about these hold tight so firstly the good thing about automatic air vents is if you have any kind of run of pipe that goes up and down or up and down like that uh, a lot of the time they'll have an actual manual air vent on top and a lot of the time the complete incomparable idiot who put the system in didn't put an automatic air vent in or any air vent at all so a lot of the time what you'll do is you'll be installing a T either soldered or compressed but try to use solder it's better and then you're going to install your automatic air vent in the top so it can actually let air out of the system now the thing about automatic air vents is is they're automatic because they shut themselves off when water comes into the system very very simple how they do it they have a small float of air inside so when water comes up to that float the float lifts up and shuts the valve off now the automatic air vent I've got with us today I'm actually going to cut in half in a minute so you can have a look inside and it gives you a really good idea about how they work now there's a couple of things you need to remember about automatic air vents they can sometimes get Get slightly blocked up at the bottom which means they don't fully shut off now they have thought about this and it can happen is they've left this top nipple or nut so you can actually undo it and do it up and actually seal it because they do sometimes go wrong it's like anything of a moving part and especially if you've got water in it they can often like clag up and get dirty and go wrong like that so you'll be looking at having an air vent on a high piece like this there is another thing you need to consider about automatic air vents especially when they're near the pump of a heating system so if you've got your pump here like this and it's pumping water this way you really 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 don't want to put your air vent on here okay you do not want your automatic air vent there because what can happen is it's because it's pumping water here it can sometimes drag down our airflow and actually allow air to go into the system and off and around so you don't ever want to do that always try and put your air, automatic air vent on the pressure side of the pump you can find that out if you look on the side of your pump yourself we've got one here you can find out which side your pump's going I have a small arrow on it like that and that will tell you so we don't want our air vent here but we do want it here okay because the water's being pushed and it'll push that up so let's have a look inside this automatic air vent quickly and give you a quick idea about how they work so like we said earlier on firstly we have our small nipple that we can do up and undo they have very kindly put small holes in the ends of it so we can pop this down on here like so and tighten that up onto that and that will stop any air coming out should it leaks all the time also on the bottom of this one here you've got straight on 15 mil compression fitting now a lot of the time you'll buy a new automatic air vent and they'll not actually have this sometimes they'll just have the half inch male thread which is annoying because you've then got to buy a female thread to 15 mil adapter or sometimes they'll actually have a small adapter with it already that has kind of a small valve jumper in it now the idea of that is is that you don't have to turn the water off or drain the heating system down to remove and maybe replace or service the air vent the idea is that you slowly undo the thread and as you're undoing it the valve jumper comes up it's got a small rubber o-ring on it and that seals the water from coming out regardless of whether you think it's got a valve jumper or not don't take the risk okay I recommend you drain down the system dissipate the pressure before you remove or do anything to these don't trust the small valve jumper that it might have on it okay so let's cut this apart and have a good look now so let's sit this little piece of here and start to cut. So here we have the beast. This plastic piece stays up here and as you can see we've got our float in here. So on the bottom if there's air in here this float will just drop to the bottom like that, act on this small arm here and then let air out of the system through the hole at the top. Now as water comes up into the bottom chamber, it pushes this float up like this 
and acts on this white arm here to shut that valve off and then allow no air to come out anymore. So as soon as this fills up with water, that goes chup and just shuts off like that. You see the way it works on that little arm there? Just boop like that. Shuts this valve off so then when there's water in here, it can turn off and you won't have loads of water coming out. Now as I said, you can sometimes have a problem with these. A lot of the times they'll actually get stuck up like this. Just make sure as you go around, grab yourself a hammer and just tap these around and that sometimes helps. Uh, and also the other annoying thing that can happen is these can actually allow water to still come by but then you've got the backup of having our small nipple on here being able to do that up and then turn that off so there you go that's how these small automatic air vents work you can see now inside how the gubbins all work and everything like that these are often used on horizontal runs of pipes that especially used in bungalows where you've got long horizontal runs of pipe they do a slight lift up in the middle and they'll put their automatic air vents there if you've got an automatic air vent like this in the run of pipe going to up to it try and get it about a foot above the pipe you're trying to vent and then also put a small isolation valve in there as well so if you've got any problems you can turn the isolation valve off whip this out have a look at it and then you know give them a good going over like that if you think we've missed anything out today do let us know you can comment on the videos you can get to us in loads of different ways firstly you can visit our website at plumberparts.co.uk remember that you can subscribe to our videos we upload every week uh, or we try anyway I think I've done quite well actually for someone who's got toothache today I think maybe it's all the beer I've been drinking you can also as ever get a hold of us on Twitter and Facebook follow us on Twitter give us a love on Facebook do both you guys send us loads of pictures of the plumbing disasters you've been coming up against or all the crazy things that you see on a daily basis which we retweet on our Twitter and our Facebook account so you can see that um, as if you've got any problems you can ask the plumber so you can ask us on the comment section below or you can do that on Twitter and Facebook like I just said and if it's a good enough question and then we think that it's broad enough and it'll help a lot of people out we'll answer it in our next ask the plumber video i'll see you guys later i'm actually gonna go and have an absolute whale of a time uh, out in the sunshine and uh it's gonna be an absolutely class way to spend the day you know what i'm saying in fact should we get george he's not been on for a while has he yeah buddy you want some scrubs g big g scrubbies get your gut out look at that George is particularly proud at the moment because he left me a little package on the drive in the form of a dead mouse with its guts ripped out. George, say hold tight to all the people. Everyone, see you later. Hold tight. Plumberparts.co.uk Honest reviews and advice.